Well, my father supposed to hide identity, but uh, he was a very uh, clever guy. You know, he get in and listened and uh, things like this. And with the show, you know, uh, several identity from uh, Hungarian, like uh, soldiers and uh, and identity from the county, see the show, and he said, "Oh, that's very good. Why you don't do a show for our uh, soldiers, wounded soldiers, for the Red Cross?" And my father said, "Oh, that will be a pleasure for me." He was scared for that. Maybe discover him. He is Jew, <laughs> but he said it's the best way to keep the your enemies with uh, near and know what is they doing. And he said, "Yeah, well, let's do it." And he was doing uh, several performances for the Red, Red Cross, and he received a paper from recognizing him like he was uh, performing for the soldiers and all this. And this paper was uh, very important to show when they stop in the street or, or, or in the town. Who are you? Show me your papers. Then he showed this paper. Oh yeah, okay then. And uh, let him go. Yeah, and I saw there's, there's an incredible photo of your very young. Yeah. And your, you and your father are standing outside of his Red Cross performance poster. And it says Tiani in big letters, the Red Cross. Yeah. You're standing on the street. Do you remember that moment at all? You know, you're a kid. You don't really know what's going on. But seeing, knowing that your father was performing, um, you're standing on the street. He's about to go in to perform. What were you feeling in that moment? Well, I really didn't realize the seriousness of the moment because I was trusting my father and he was <laughs> everything. What he's doing, it was okay. Sometime in the show, he put me in, in the box and I had to show him up and throw flowers for the uh, people <laughs> and uh, things like this happen. So you were part of his performance? Yeah. Okay, so what, he, you were in a box, you said? Yeah, yeah. It was a box, uh, the name is Mignon. The show is a box, it's all uh, empty. He closed the box and I came out with, and with flowers. And I uh, beginning to throw to the people in the uh, audience flowers. And that was my job. <laughs> you're standing on stage. You're a young kid. You've just popped out of the box with flowers in your hand. What do you see in that moment? Well, I see, I don't see not too much because the light's coming to my, my face. And there down is a bunch of people uh, clucking, saying, bravo, bravo, very good. And I love that. I said, oh, I like this. I, I, next time, I said my father, where is the flowers? He said, well, we have no flowers today. <laughs> I said, the people will, will uh, complain, uh, no flowers. My father said, don't, don't worry about that. Just come out and say, uh, thank you and <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> and that was the things my father, he said, this will be, uh, this guy, this boy will be magician also, he said. <laughs> and what was your father like when he was, I mean, I imagine it must have been terrifying for him. He's in front of a bunch of Hungarian soldiers. Yeah. But what was he like on stage during those performances? Well, he, really, we don't talk too much. We just talk for the show, show things and make uh, laughing the people with the, uh, confetti throwing and the people liked this. This was a, a show for, for to the people be happy and forget the terrible moments for the war. And then when you talk about the confetti being thrown, was that out of coffee cup, that sort of thing? Yeah, yeah, that was uh, inside, put coffee and drink and give a little for the people from the people from the 
stage, uh, under the stage, and over the stage, my father said, now with this coffee, oh, and he said, you want also? Yes, here, shoom, and he throw it, and that was confetti, and the people like it also, yeah. Oh, yeah, I bet. And so, I mean, like I said, I'm sure that was you know, survival instinct for your father. Yeah, yeah, Perform yeah. In, in plain sight. He was worried every mi every night and every day. And he said, not too much outside, don't talk to people. And we hiding till the show. And after we get in the stage, there was, okay, he was, uh, his security, the stage and his magic tricks. <laughs> 